supercalifragilisticexpialidociousday. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, we're here to discuss to you the Republic Act 7394, also known as the Consumer Act of the Philippines. It is the policy of the state to protect the consumer and promote the general welfare of conduct for business and industry. Under the Consumer Act of the Philippines, we have eight basic rights of consumers. The number one is the right to basic needs. The right to basic goods. Every consumer has access to basic goods and services necessary such as food, water, healthcare, education, and sanitation. For number two, we have the right to safety. The right to safety. Every consumer has the right to expect protection from hazardous products, production processes and services, or faulty goods bought in the marketplace. For number three, the right to information. Number three, the right to inform. Every customer has the right to be adequately informed about the product or service he or she is buying. Based on quality, purity, potency, manufacture date, method of use, and standard. For number four, we have the right to choose. Number four, the right to choose. This right ensures that the customer have access and availability to a variety of quality products and services in a conducive, healthy, and competitive marketplace. For number five is the right to redress. Five, the right to redress. A customer has the right to voice out any complaints and be heard. They also deserve compensation for misrepresentation, shoddy goods, and unsatisfactory public and private services. The unfair practices of the seller, including the right to adequate legal representation. For number 6, we have the right to consumer education. 6. The right to consumer education. Customers should be adequately educated about the basic customer right they enjoy. For number 7, we have the right to representation. Number 7. The right to consumer representation. This consumer right advocates the consumer's interest are heard represented and considered in the formulation and implementation of economic and other policies affecting consumers. And lastly, the right to a healthy environment. Number 8. The right to a healthy environment. The consumers have the right to live in a healthy, pollution-free environment which will enhance the quality of their lives and their generations. Hope you learned something. Till the next time. Goodbye! Goodbye.